Well, if you have a heavy job to do, a pair of BYU students have a high-tech solution. They've invented two groundbreaking robots where that's where their entire job and someday uh, could end up helping save lives. We've got news specialist Brian Carlson at BYU with what these can do. The best way to explain it is maybe to demonstrate. Pretend this is a patient on a stretcher. Uh, while I have one end, the robot can handle the other. Or one can pick up heavy debris and help with a rescue. Either grabbing and lifting heavy objects for you or doing it with you is the idea behind BYU's two humanoid robots. How can we get humans and robots working together to carry objects? Graduate student Dallin Corden made his robot for his master's thesis that can mimic your movements while it helps you carry large objects. He says he knows working with robots is in our future and he wants to make them safer to interact with. As I hit this, it naturally deforms, so that makes it a lot safer to be around. Meanwhile, grad student Curtis Johnson is doing his doctorate on creating a robot to act more like humans. His robot uses its whole body instead of just its hands, inspired by his young daughter picking up a couch cushion. It was just so natural for her to pick up these couch cushions that were bigger than she was. And that got me wondering, realizing that I've never seen a robot do anything like that before. While modest in what the robots can accomplish now, their professor says the goal is to build them to handle larger and heavier objects that someday could help first responders in real disasters. We can make robots that would get people out of harm's way or help multiply people's efforts when they go to, um, to rescue or help people in, in distress. That's really what we'd like to be able to do. For now, that's lifting one box or small table at a time. While both these robots are just prototypes, BYU is hoping they grab the attention of the robotic world for innovation in the future. In Provo, Brian Carlson, KSL 5 News.